Now you're going to complete your vocabulary slide assignments. You will have these for each subunit, and you'll have probably one at least once a week. So first thing you're going to do when you have any kind of PowerPoint that comes up here is you need to be able to edit it. You can use the PowerPoint app. That's what I recommend. Uh, you have many features m available in the app that are not in the browser. If you're using an iPad or an, any other tablet, you can download or use the PowerPoint app that is on there as well. And I highly recommend you do that. You can open it up into the browser if needed, but I do recommend that you use it in the app. So when you open this up, uh, first thing you're going to do is write your name right here at the student name. Uh, you can edit all of these slides, so you need to be careful to make sure you don't accidentally delete your vocabulary words. If that happens, uh, you can hit undo by coming up to file and then go to undo. So your directions are you're going to make each, you're going to edit each slide to include the following, a definition a clip art or a picture, and you're going to use the vocabulary word in the sentence. Make sure you're using capital letters and punctuation. I will take off points if you're not using capital letters and punctuation. Uh, or if you are misspelling words that you, you can use spell check. There's no reason. Uh, so an example is atom. The definition is the basic unit of a chemical element. It is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The thing that you need to remember as you go through these defi these um, vocabulary words is the definition needs to be a science definition. So you might come up to a word, which we'll have on the next screen, that can have a definition that's not based on science. It needs to be related to what we're learning about, in this case, atoms. My, my sentence is, my necklace, it, uh, see, and there's a typo, and I'm doing that on purpose. See, my necklace is made up of many gold atoms. Then I have my clip art of a picture of an atom. You can insert these by coming up to insert picture and you can do it from a file but you can go to online pictures and you can right here in your PowerPoint it's going to take it a second to load but you can search for things like an atom and see, you have pictures of an atom. You can also Google those pictures and save them to your computer and upload. You can also draw a picture and uh, take a picture with maybe your phone and upload that in as well. So this next definition is structure, but it's talking about structure of an atom. If you look up just the definition of structure, there's many, many things that are structures. Right, there's buildings that are structures, there's to give structure, so we're talking about an atom. So you're going to make your definition here, you're going to use it in a sentence here, and you're going to add your picture over here. Uh, you may change the format, you may change the layout, you may change the colors, uh, whatever you want to do, but you need to have all of these elements. And we have a total of 11 words, so there's 12, actually 10 words because we have our direction slides here. So I hope that helps. I've done the first one for you. And you will use these vocabulary words to study and prepare for your quiz as well as your test. Um, when you have finished, make sure at the top you hit save. You need to make sure you hit this save button. It should have auto save automatically, but you need to hit save. Then you're going to come back into our canvas and in your student view you'll have a piece right here that says submit. Before you hit submit it might be a good idea to hit refresh just to make sure it is ready to submit and that you might want to take the chance and look through your vocabulary slides here for instance go like this and go all the way to your last slide to make sure that they were all saved. Um, before you hit submit and then hit submit and you will be done. All right, good luck 
and be creative and have fun.